Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Computer Man, and on today's episode, I am going to be unboxing a accessory for the iPhone 4 and 4S. The iPhone I have here is my iPhone 4S, and this accessory is a very famous one that Apple has noted when the iPhone 4 came out. So, uh, let's get right into it. So in this box, in this bag, I mean, we have the Apple branded bumper. The Apple branded iPhone 4 bumper in this plastic wrap. Let me get this out of the plastic wrapper. So here's the bumper. Now, to let you guys know, the bumper, they still sell it on their website for $29.99, $35 plus tax, basically. They used to have two colors with before they only went to the black. It was black and green before they discontinued the other colors like orange, product red, white, I believe brown, maybe a purple. I know there was a whole bunch of other colors. Before they discontinued all of those, they dropped it just to green and black. Black has been, black has stayed, green has been discontinued. So the only case they have left for the iPhone 4 in terms of bumper colors is the black one. And that's the one I got here. So the packaging is very simple. It just has the black Apple logo, the iPhone 4 logo in its original font that came on the iPhone 4 like a silver font and then a black bumpers logo underneath that and the bumper is encased in the plastic protective protective casing that it comes in and on the back of that we get a little diagram how to install the bumper it just you know you line it up the headphone jack the sleep and lock button mute switch, the volume rockers, and of course the 30 pins at the bottom. So it's just showing you, you line it up and snap it in. And then it says compatible with iPhone 4 and 4S in English and many other languages. On the bottom of that, on the bottom of that it has the serial number of the bumper and it says iPhone 4 bumper black. And it says designed by Apple in California and of course made in China. And underneath all that, of course, it tells you, you know, Apple Inc., One Infinite Loop, California, the address. And it basically says copyright 2011 of Apple. So 2011 was the copyright of this packaging. And one more thing before I open it up. They only sell this online. So this is an online exclusive through Apple. Because I went to the stores and tried to look for one of these. They don't have them and I asked the guys if they would have them in the back, you know, just if they had any stock sitting in the back that they would sell. They said, basically, you got to go online for the iPhone 4 bumper or um, basically that's it, online. And if you're wondering if, if you have an iPhone 5, you can get cases for the iPhone 5 in store at the Apple store because obviously the iPhone SE carries the same design but getting away from that let's get into the case so to open up this case it looks like we just push down in the front and it should pop out on the back here pretty neat design how Apple makes their products open up I really like that how this bumper case opens up and here's the bumper case and here's the plastic protective case holding it and when you notice when you get the bumper case out, you notice a grayish rubber um, fitting on the inside of it as well. If you guys can see that, it goes from the inside up to the outside of the case. And even on the lightning port here, and around from the lightning from the middle part of the case around, it's black on the inside. And on the top, you have a your sleep button, power button, which is in the same silver metal configuration as the iPhone 4 or 4S. Headphone jack with the 
noise cancellation mic. And then you have the silver metal power, um, not power, I mean volume up and volume down buttons. And you're cut out for the mute switch. On the bottom you have your microphone cut out and the speaker cut out. And of course the 30 pin dot connector. So a little back history on the case. The reason why this case came out was when the iPhone 4 came out, obviously, I'm just going to show you. When the iPhone 4 came out, if you grip the phone in your left hand like this, you can lose cellular reception on the AT&T networks, and that really made people not want to buy these. Now, when the bumper case came out, it was in the middle of when the iPhone 4s were being shipped and a lot of people noticed it so Steve Jobs made a separate media event to talk to the press and let them know that yeah we know we got a problem antenna gate it was in, it was called antenna gate and pretty much he said we will ship users that had the iPhone 4 that bought the iPhone 4 with the bumper cases now they had these bumper cases Obviously when the iPhone 4 launched, I believe they had them when the iPhone 4 launched And he pretty much said we are shipping a lot of these with the iPhone 4 But people that already bought the iPhone 4 we will send them out a bumper case For free so pretty much you would go on the Apple website and there would be a promo section For the iPhone 4 to receive your free bumper case And you just fill out the information you probably have to put the serial number of the device of course and you would select the color you want and have it shipped to your house and the bumper case would solve the problem of the cellular, cellular reception when gripping the phone in your left hand. Now the reason why this case solves that, well the case on the inside where the black part is around the inside of the case has a little strip of aluminum or steel most likely aluminum on the inside that when it makes contacts with the antenna gate down here over here here and here and this is a 4s but on the 4 it would have one cut out right here where the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack would be well where 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 it is and when it makes contacts with the with those antenna gates, it would um, increase the signal for the cellular reception when making a call going on the internet. So pretty much it just increases the service of the device and it picks up a better signal, which is good. And of course it would work on the 4S obviously because it's the same design, even though at the top like I stated before, it doesn't have a cutout at the top for the antenna gate next to the headphone jack even though the iPhone 4 does have one but you see when the when the 4s came out which is the one I have here like I showed you they have the identical left and right left and right top and bottom of the antenna gates which solved the problem but this case was built to solve that problem particularly for the iPhone 4 obviously and it did have protective features like for instance when we install this case which I'm going to do right now and by the way just to install it it's pretty pretty simple we'll go like this like on the diagram showed me and here we are and yes I did reset this 4s though just want to let you guys know. Once we get this case in, there we go. This is my custom back glass I put on here. And you can tell it takes a little bit to get on, but once it's on, it's more rugged. It gives the phone a nice, cooler look to it. Personally, I really like this look to it, even though I do prefer the stainless steel look, but with the black bezel around it that the case gives to the device man makes this phone look a lot better 
and you notice it has it it does it doesn't really have too much of an extra weight to it so that's good you can you're gonna like the grip of it around the case you're gonna like the grip you know and holding your hand so it doesn't fall out and all that which was a good thing about this case and with the gray part here and on the back here the rubber gasket as they call it when you put your phone on the table it would rest on the rubber gray uh, gasket not on the black back glass of the phone or on the front of the device the face of the, the device in the case there was people that did drop test with this case I'm obviously not going to do that for you guys so if you guys are wondering I'm not going to do it so I'm sorry but it would it holds up with the drops and stuff but honestly I gotta say I really like this case with 4s and is it worth $35 today if you want it from directly from Apple yes um, you can get this obviously on eBay for cheaper even on other websites but I preferred getting money through Apple so I just wanted to do this video for you guys just to throw out a video for you you know good video I really want to do this one with a bumper case and stay tuned for more videos like this and I do have a mini series doing with the Apple products like the iPhones, iPod touches and maybe some of the computers like the iBook I had on there I'm going to be doing a little mini series starting with the iPhones and then branching out from there um, if you guys are wondering when is this video coming for the Apple Watch my one year video that I was supposed to make back in June I'm working on that now it will be out shortly so uh, please stay sub uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, like the video if you liked it and if you felt this video wasn't good obviously you can leave me a dislike fine with me comments on how to improve the videos or what you want to see in the next videos and I will leave the computer man Twitter account in the description below and on screen. Hope to see you guys in the next video. See you later.